For those of you familiar with the tiniest little red rasboras, the chili, the mira, and the dwarf rasbora, I've got a little bit of a mystery on my hands. I've got two tanks. This one is an eight and a half gallon that houses some mystery red rasboras. And then I've also got this little bookshelf tank, about three gallon tank, and that also has some little red rasboras. I'm going to be trying to find out in this video what I have. Do I have? the dwarf, the mira, or the chilies. Now first the eight and a half gallon. This one also houses a little show off of a fish right there. And that is the Gertrude rainbow fish, which is so stinking cute. And his little lady friend, which he has been chasing around for quite some time. And they are just the cutest little pair. So. Just be, be warned that they're gonna try and steal all your attention. But the other tank is a little three gallon bookshelf tank. And this one, I tried to figure out first, who do I have in here? I've also got some pumpkin shrimp in here that are about the same size as these uh, fish, which make it very, very funny. But these little red rasboras, the three that I'm gonna be talking about are perfect to go in very tiny tanks. And they're also perfect to go with shrimp because yes, they're about the same size. Now let's look at the, the little dude on the left, right actually in the center now, with the big spot on his side. The top of the tank there, and he's out of view. But that one is a dwarf rasbora. There he is making an appearance. You can tell by the, the uh, separate spots, they're pretty, pretty easy to distinguish between that and the mirror and the chili. Now between the mirror and the chili, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to, to tell them apart. So I think that's where I'm gonna be spending most of my time. But I believe that that is the only dwarf rasbora that I have. They actually get a little bit bigger than the chili and the mira rasbora. So closer to an inch, they top out an inch. They're very, very tiny. And they do have very um, kind of noticeable separate spots along the side. They, they display beautiful red color too. We've uh, had a number of them in the past. They're all uh, just really fun to look at. Even when you're looking at one individually, you may not know right off the top, top of your head. You may be looking at it and not be able to figure out which one of the three it is. Don't be afraid. Don't, don't feel bad because even in countless videos I've watched, uh, countless articles I've read, they will frequently display all pictures of the these three varieties under a single variety so it's very easy for most people to get confused and mix them up and there is even a kind of disagreement whether or not they are different varieties specifically but let's just go on that as my single dwarf rasbora now for the other little guys that are very very similar you see them in the front that one right there uh, you know what i think i think he's a chili I really do. The one on the uh, the top right there, and then also you're gonna see a, a, a number of other ones swimming around. Him as well, I believe he's a chili. Now, in the past, and then also it's, it's good to know that these all come with different names that you may see them. Here's one of my little pumpkin shrimp hanging around. They have had little shrimplet babies. Very exciting in this tank. Um, but anyways, back to the little red red guys. The chili is also known as the mosquito rasbora or the um, Baroris brigitte. So they all have a number of different names that you want to keep in mind if you are, if people may be referring to them as one or the other, but typically the chili rasbora is, is referred to as the chili rasbora. And it's, I would say it's probably the most common and the most uh, popular because I really do think that that red color is the strongest in the chili rasbora uh, above the other two little rasboras. And in the past, I have kind of gone on the assumption that the chili rasbora has a solid like black stripe from the like kind of the head all the way to the tail. But as you will see in a number of these, especially in this other tank here, the more I looked at them, I really thought I had 
some Mira Rasboras, and we'll take a look at some of these, but I, I think I have all chili Rasboras in this tank. And why is that? Well, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a look at some uh, ones that we can spot that might be a Mira. And then I had a little sneaking suspicion I may have one Mira in here. But the two things that I look for uh, trying to distinguish a chili Raspora versus a Mira Raspora is that the chili I always thought had a solid black stripe along the side and uh, not broken. So that was one. And then the second thing is that a mirror is, it, it, while it does display really beautiful like red color, the chili to me always struck, struck me as being a solid red fish and with the black line. And then the mirror raspora was more of a, um, a fish with red coloring kind of around like a black oval kind of like that on the side not as uh, necessarily pronounced as uh, as the dwarf rasbora. The dwarf has like multiple little spots along the side and is uh, slightly larger. But this one on the on the left here, it's a little paler and I I was thinking it might be a mira, but uh, I don't think so. I think it might just be a female chili rasbora because it's even though and when we take a look at the kind of the um, little close-ups here it does not look like this this is what a mirror should look like it's got separated little uh, spot on the side and then uh, kind of the coloring right around the spot the red and pink and really pretty coloring doesn't come from the entire body of the fish. It really just comes from surrounding like the little spots along the side. But I'm going to warn you, it's very frustrating when you try and figure out what you have or which, which fish that you're looking at because when you look up a fish, this is what comes up from your Rasbora on the World Wide Web. This was uh, pictured a number of times and that is clearly a chili Rasbora. That is not a Mira Rasbora. So, like I was saying before, a lot of these different articles and even um, YouTube videos, just anywhere you can find information, they will frequently reference pictures of all the different little rasboras when they're referring to one single one. So it gets very confusing to what you're looking at and you really, really have to look very closely. And there is a difference of opinion, you know, are they really distinct ones? And it does get so confusing when you're talking about these three rasboras that look very, very similar, have very similar features and similar size, similar coloring. And then each one of them goes by different names. The uh, dwarf rasbora goes by the pygmy rasbora, also known as the Baroras maculatus. Uh, the mira rasbora, which now is, I'm on the hunt, I will be getting mira rasboras. Uh, they're also known as the phoenix rasbora or Brewer's uh, Mira. And then of course the chili, which I already mentioned is known as the Mosquito or uh, Brewer's Brigitte. Um, they all go by separate names. So it gets even more confusing, but there was a very fascinating little fact that I read and I believe this was on, um, it was an article on Aquatic Eden. They noted a very, very fascinating difference between the Phoenix are the Mira Rasbora and the Chili Rasbora. The Mira Rasbora is a carnivore and the Chili Rasbora is an omnivore, which I thought was absolutely fascinating. But it is on my list uh, ASAP for Mr. Primetime to get some more mirrors in so that I can have a proper video and I can show you tank I'm, I'm gonna put them each in their single like little tank side by side so that we can take a, a really good look at these uh, distinct differences I think that's gonna be super fun I was really hoping I would be able to do that in this video but alas I do not have any mirrors but I hope you enjoyed this video and at least uh, looking at super tiny fish they are super fun to have and let me know if you've ever kept them if you love them as much as I do thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time